They say they are the eyes and ears of the revolution. Cuba's Committees in Defense of the Revolution are celebrating their 50th anniversary. These groups, created in the wake of Fidel Castro's rise to power, are a network of citizens who defend what they call Cuba's revolutionary ideals. We cannot allow spies sent by the imperialists, counter-revolutionaries like the ones in Miami, to come cause trouble over here. The task forces of ordinary citizens organize rallies, holiday celebrations and charity work. They also report on their neighbors to the Communist Party, keeping a lookout for anyone thought to be against the regime. Francisca, a former military captain, heads up her local committee. At 68, she says she has always been loyal to her job. The one thing I regret is that my legs aren't strong enough for me to participate in rallies, but my heart and my tongue are still here to defend the revolution. Some say the committees are nothing but a large spy network that has kept the Cuban government in power for decades, and many organizations have openly denounced them. They quickly changed from committees to protect the revolution into committees of informants and thus tools for the systematic violation of citizens' rights. These watchdog groups, often described as a pillar of the communist regime itself, claim to be almost eight and a half million strong. That's well over half the island's adult population, and it's a political model that has been exported to Venezuela, Nicaragua and Ecuador.